What's going on everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a quick little video. I'm gonna be showing off my cinematic presets, which I do sell on my Etsy website. If you guys are interested, the link will be down below in the description. Now let's go on with this video and show you how these presets work. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this voiceover. We're gonna be doing a quick showing of my cinematic presets that I do sell on Etsy. Like I said, the link will be down below. We're gonna start off with this photo of the public market sign here in Seattle, Washington. So it's basically I'm gonna click on the Neon City Blue Hour preset and it gives me this nice little cinematic look with this photo. I just like how that person was in the middle. So I'm pretty satisfied with the look of this photo already, but I might bump up the highlights or the whites in here a little bit. Very minimal touching when it comes to these photos, depending on what time of day you're shooting to as well. All right, so we're gonna be heading on to the next preset over here. So as you can see, this photo over here, it's pretty warm, but watch what happens when I add that Cine Green Night preset. And do know with some of these photos, I do underexpose them in order to have the highlights perfectly drawn into the photo. Here is one more photo that I took that night that it, it snowed in Seattle, pretty nice. And once I add that preset, yeah, very minimal editing. This is my signature green tones with the cinematic look. And now we're gonna be heading on to the next photo and this time it's gonna be for the golden hour preset and watch what happens when I add that preset onto this photo. It really gives that nice greenish warm look to it. Um, you can edit it however you want it to if you want to expose it a little bit here and there. But for this type of set, I did underexpose most of the photos in order to have everything like in the shadows and the sun just highlighting whatever needs to be highlighted naturally. And we're gonna have another photo here with the people standing in the middle of the street taking a photo. I'm gonna add that warm golden hour preset. And I like to bump up the highlights and the whites here to give it that nice little glow. Now we're gonna be heading on to the nature part of this video over here. And so all these photos are gonna be edited with my moody nature preset. And as you can see, once I add that preset, everything looks so nice and moody. The highlights are really nice and blown out, which is pretty good sometimes when it comes to my style of photography when it, I'm shooting nature photos. We're gonna head on to this other picture over here. And yeah, just one click. And now we're gonna be heading off to this photo over here, which is one of my favorites that I've ever taken. Now I do have another preset here that's called Rainy Day. Uh, basically I use it when it's like a rainy overcast day. Now here's another one of my favorite photos that I've ever taken here in downtown Tacoma with this person walking in the middle of the frame. I got really lucky with this photo here. I'm gonna add that preset, the rainy day preset, a little underexposed, but bring a little back and you get those nice colors here and there. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite presets, it's a foggy day preset. I like using this preset when it's a nice foggy day. You can actually use this preset for the moody nature photos as well if you wanted to, but I mainly made this preset for a foggy city day. As you can see, it brings out that nice warm colors and the city, it's just really, really good. And now I'm gonna be showing you the last preset that I have. It's basically gonna be like a warm light type of preset. And once I add it, it gives you that nice little glow. This preset here is more intended when there's like a dominant warm color just around you. It's a shot of the State Hotel sign that has room 75 cents. I'm gonna add that warm light. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of that preset. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for this video here today. If you did enjoy it, give it a like, comment, and do subscribe. And also that link for the presets will be down below if you are interested. Until then, peace.